What happens when you mash up graph artists, kaitiakitanga, rangatahi and the Auckland Museum all on one massive mural project? You get Urban Life. This is Urban Life, connections, collections, community. The project is in conjunction with the Auckland Museum. And it's called Urban Life and it's to encourage rangatahi or races to get to the museum and check it out. We've done a study at the museum, checked out everything from Banks' early recordings of drawings and stuff of um, native flora and fauna in Aotearoa and we got to look at the Bastion Point archive which had photos and information which were these kids' relations. Yeah, uh, working with DLT, um, yeah, he's, he's the man in terms of hip-hop and graphite and stuff, yeah, he's one of the pioneers. I think that's really exciting, it's like completely like, opposite ends of the, the spectrum, and so to like have stuff like this in the museum I think would be quite cool. My main project was um, just doing the stencil for uh, Tumu Tumu Whenua, it was one of the prominent um, tupuna from uh, Ngāti Whātua. So, yeah, that was quite an important piece. We teach them what we call can control, which is technique, getting thin lines and fat lines, and learning to read what the paint is doing. When it comes to this kind of stencing, it's almost like hit and miss. You don't know how it's going to turn out until you're actually doing it. I wanted to put a kaupapa to my art, and... I just felt like this is a powerful image, the moko kanohi. Yeah, it could either be used as uh, a stamp of, of to confirm your identity or for some who, who don't necessarily know their whakapapa, it can be a, uh, a tohu of I need to learn my whakapapa and I need to learn where I'm from and who I am. I think a lot of younger people don't want to have a connection to the museum, but there's a lot of good stories there that we can, you know, if we always can learn from our past, and uh, one day we'll be a part of the past. It's not so much about the museum, but about the, the people here, you know, the people of the land, in their environment, and, and, try, and we're, we're giving the museum some of that. This will stand in the museum for a few months, which, is, which again is an amazing thing, because these people's work that they've done is going to stand amongst our ancestors work which is man 700 years old and yeah so it's it's a huge honor yeah that book was cool as it's cool as i think it's um it's pretty nice that 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 the eyes are shut because orangi toto is a dormant maunga i guess which basically means people are lost from sight but the earth will always remain and the reason why Toi Tu Te Whenua is on this plaque is because we want to uh, acknowledge that Fakatoki in saying that the land will always remain. This is urban life, collections, connections, community.